What's good, YouTube? It's Sos. Morning is saying you're in your vibes, you feel me? We back with another reaction. Now, this is another 10 Toes Down video slash Hassan Campbell. You know what I'm saying? My son 10 Toes was going in on Hassan a few days ago. You feel me? So we just basically reacted to that again. Uh, I've done two videos, all right, on 10 Toes Down. And I felt like we didn't need to do a few more. You feel me? Like, really, really... uh see what this guy's about, you know what I'm saying, see what the real root of the beef with Hassan Campbell is, you feel me, and all that. So this video, he talking about some Hassan was telling in Bronx River, you know what I'm saying, telling on Bronx River gangsters getting exposed, you feel me. So before I press play on this video, though, on my channel, you heard, put your chest in it, you know what I'm saying, smash that like button, turn on your post notifications, which is the bell, so y'all can get notified every time I drop with these videos, you feel me? So let's get right into this video right here by 10 Toes Down. No, Nudie set me up for a body. The last homicide that I went to jail for, Nudie and Myra killed the nigga in the park in the 1455. Nudie and Myra killed the nigga in the park in the 1455. Nudie and Myra killed the nigga in the park in the 1455. Cause me and Nudie was beefing after he shot Muhammad. Zulu Nation with the wall was Zulu. And this is what turned me on to be a street nigga. Muhammad got shot. Muhammad was my big brother. So when I came outside for Muhammad, it was a big shootout that happened in Bronx River. I was in the middle of it. They left me for dead. So now, when Nudie caught me, Nudie caught me in between, like, on Brian Building, Van Building, in the backside between the big park, and backspin. Eddie Baxman, he got killed. Eddie Rain, he said, Poppy, run, please. He said, Nudie coming. So when he said, Nudie coming, I said, I started, at first, I started to run. Like, right? hold it for a second. I started to run, right? So when I started to run, I said, nah, fuck that. I just got a 38 from Bambada. This is exclusive. I just got a, a 38 from Bambada that he got from Crazy Legs. Crazy Legs gave Bam by the 38. I didn't have no shells in it. So when Nudie ran, through, ran, Nudie ran up on me with a tank in a 357, he catches me in between the big park and, 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 and Bam's building, Bam old building. Mm -hmm. So I'm waiting for Nudie. I'm not running. He runs down, backs out. He tells me, go down in the ramp. He thought he was going to kill me in the ramp. I said, nigga, if you're going to kill me, you're going to kill me right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. So, hold up. Let me finish. Let me tell you Let me finish. Let me tell you Let me finish. So, Nudie, right? So, Nudie, look. Listen, listen. I got him. Me and my brother. So, Nudie, right? Nudie looked at me, right? This is this is before I turned on. This is before I turned on, right? Nudie looked at me. He said, how you turn your back against the projects? I said, y'all niggas ain't never showed me no fucking love, but at the same time, you left me for dead. Nudie looked at me. Nudie patted me down. Boom, boom, boom. When he patted me down, I had a 38. It fell into my boot. So as he was coming up, it slipped past him. He had to drop on me. So when he patted me down, he missed the 38. I had no bullets in it because I just got the crazy legs. They gave, they gave it to Bam. So when he did that, this is exclusive. So when, so when he did that, so when he did that, it's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He so, when he, so when he did that, right? Nudie looked at me every day that week. Nudie shot somebody. Let me tell you something. He let me live. Right, but let me say he something. had me. Let me tell you something. And that's what started. When, when, when me and Nudie started, I was shit. It, it, it went. But now, Nudie went to jail. Right? And that's when I started my shit. Nudie was a monster. Let me tell you something. Okay, now let's take a look at the story. <laughs> we start so far. So, he... he uh, Ten goes down is not buying Hassan Campbell's story. You feel me? So, um... He might get a little disrespectful. Yeah, I seen the last two reactions I did, the last two lives of with him. Well, it was one live, but we just po uh, we pieced it in two different parts. So y'all could go check that out, you feel me? But this is a another video right here. This is not part of the live. I'm saying Nudie set him up for a body. That Nudie and Myra killed somebody in 1455. 
Now you have to ask the question, how can someone set you up for a murder? And what the fuck he need to set you up for a murder for? What, he, he killed the people? Then called the police and said Hassan Campbell did it? What, he killed them with your fingerprints? What, he killed them with a gun that had your fingerprints? Make some sense to this, man. <laughs> y'all don't listen when I tell y'all. I told y'all yeah. months before that, he told me the story that he killed the people up in 1455 and now the truth comes out see all you got to do is give them a drink yo and this is like crazy like they both talking about these cases i mean i guess you know you can't like once the case is done you really can't go back into it i think you feel me or it depends on the situation but like they just like yo he killed him and he killed him and this that like bro like freely like that shit crazy me bro and the truth is going to come out of him. Now the truth comes out that Nudie killed them people. And you was claiming that body. And that's why the police came and locked you up. And now you want to say Nudie set you up. But guess what happens? He gets locked. So he think, he think Haas was trying to get clout off of a body he did not catch. I mean, you got to be one sick individual to literally want to claim a body you did not do knowing that you can't you might can get arrested for it like that's just that's like that's like OD desperate for attention OD in, in that in that sense you feel me like I mean like what kind of, yeah I don't know y'all let me know in the comments like do y'all believe Hassan or do y'all think or do y'all believe what Ten Toes Down is talking about like Hassan told him a whole different story Locked up for the murder, in which he never committed, goes to prison, gets out. See, one thing he never tell y'all, how he got out. He gets out, and then in the story you hear, nobody gets locked up. Talk back to Ted. I'm talking to you, somebody telling. Somebody was telling, and it wasn't Moody. He said the homicide he went to jail for, Moody and Myra killed the person. Then Nudie catches up. <laughs> Nudie catches up and traps him off. His friend Eddie ran and says, Poppy, run. Please, who the fuck is Eddie? Eddie Murphy? Eddie <laughs> what Eddie is this? I want to know who Eddie is because Eddie is what we need the story from Eddie. We need Eddie. <laughs> Yo, he like, yo, we need Eddie, bro. Like, nah, Eddie, Eddie gotta fill in the pieces. <laughs> Who is Eddie? You feel me? Is Eddie from Bronx? Get really? Eddie on the line. Cause Eddie ran. He said, Nudie coming. I thought Debo was coming. Nudie is coming. Nudie, Nudie was the Debo of Bronx River. So he said, at first, I started to run. He started to run. He, 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 he couldn't get it all. He's too fat. He can't run. We're going to run to him. Nudie had to drop him. Okay. So far, sounds like Nudie is the tough guy of Bronx River, right? Because there's no tough in that story with him. What gangster killer thug runs or even gives it second thought? I don't know nothing. So now he tells you he just got a 38 that he got from Ben Bottle, who got it from Crazy Lakes, who got it from Kumo D and Grandmaster Flash and the Serious Pop. Where does gun be a pest all around with no bullets? <laughs> nah, I ain't so gonna lie, lie bro. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. Having a community gun with no bullets is crazy work, bro. Like, y'all pass, passing the gun around, and it's not even low. It's not even... <laughs> Yo, not even one jammed in it or nothing. Just empty clip. OD, bro. The gun with no bullets looking for a killer. Now you see why he got bullets Gotti. Now you see why he got bullets Gotti. That's his only bullets. Who the hell in a war with a gun with no bullets? Talk back to Ted. I'm talking to you. Somebody talk to me. Get my comment section if I'm saying something wrong. 
So this is his definition of staying dangerous. This is his definition of pay attention to your circle before they hurt you. The same thing he did on camera with the young boys in the projects, pull the gun out, cock the gun back, never bust off. Because ain't no bullets in there. Talk back to Ken. There's no bullets. Yo, nah, bro. This is comedy, son. Nudie runs down on him with a Tech 9 and a 357. Nudie was about that life. A Tech 9 and a... Nudie got two fucking guns. Nudie gonna shoot everybody. Now, if you paid attention, first he said he was about to run. Now he's saying, I waited for Nudie. And he shrugged his shoulders and all that. I waited for Nudie. Rewind the tape. You forgot you just told us you was going to run, pump. He waited for Nudie. Nudie asks, why you turn your back on the projects? The infamous BX River. He tells y'all about that he controlled the projects. So what happened was the projects was at war. They flipped on him for riding with dudes from other areas. Mm. And when he needed... Yo, y'all let me know if Dom is, is Tento spitting or what, bro? Like, do y'all think... Do y'all think Tento was on to something, you feel me? Like, uh, do y'all do stick with Hassan? With y'all let me know in the comments, right? Like, who whose story y'all going with? It helped. They left him for dead. Talk back to Tento. I'm talking to you. They supposed to leave him for dead. Anybody will leave you for dead if you flip for some other people on your own projects. Now he said Nudie patted him down. You better pay attention to this story, goddammit. Nudie patted him down. Pat goes down. Pop, gangsters, killers, whoever it is, they're going to start from the waistline. Go down. Check all over. So how does pat down work? And remember, Nudie has two guns on him. 357 and Tech 9. So for sure, he ain't going to put the three, the Tech 9 in his waistline. He's going to put the 357 and still had a tech on you. And maybe for this little punk, he probably put the guns on the floor and said, come here. We hurt you. Yo, put the guns on the floor. The system is crazy, bro. Come on, man. Y'all think us. I mean, he this Haas did say he was young, bro. Like he he said after that he put on, but nah, that's funny, yo. Tento is really. <laughs> I know he added to the story, but that shit is hilarious, though. I ain't gonna lie. Put the guns on the floor to pass somebody down. Oh man! But you usually start from the waist down. Not Nudie. Nudie patted from the ankle up. What the killer does that? And he said while he was patting him up, the gun went down into his boot. What the? Nudie was patting him up and the gun fell and went down and he passed the gun with no bullets. Like it doesn't matter if he found the gun or not. He ain't got no bullets. And it went in your boot. And Nudie missed. Like, really? I don't, I, don't, I don't know what y'all looking at. I know what I'm looking at. No bullets drop on you. What does that mean? You was lacking. He talking about, I'm never lacking. I'm never lacking. <laughs> he was lacking. He talk all that gangster killer talk. Yeah. To lacking with nothing. He said, Nudie let me live. He said, Nudie let why you not Why you not shouting out Nudie on most of all your videos? Because mm, you would have been a dead man. Why you not shouting Nudie out, rest in peace, to Nudie <clears throat> from Bronxville? Mm, he let you live. I'll be shouting out every man that helped me in my life and helped me let me live. You let me live. I'm shouting you out. Yo, shout out to my man, Big Al Mike, man. Big Mike could have murdered me. He had to drop on me one time, man. Rest in peace, Mike, man. I wouldn't even be here, have my beautiful kids or nothing. Shout Nudie out. 
And then he said when Nudie went to jail, that's when I was able to come outside. <laughs> Yo, Are you serious about bro, going on he, Instagram or what? I see you watching my YouTube yeah, content, I know, he so I know that you're he interested in like growing up on Instagram, but you I, haven't gotten I'm into about to be able to come out. So he did. He did end it like that. That's that's hilarious. That's hilarious. And yo, ending your video away, he just coming outside cause cause the ops got 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 arrested is crazy. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think about this video. Do y'all think the ten toes is speaking facts or do y'all feel like Hassan, you know, been you know being real with us and letting us know what happened with that whole situation with Nooney. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all watching this video. If y'all have it before y'all head out though, subscribe to my channel. You heard? Put your chest in it. You know what I'm saying? Smash that like button. Turn on your post notifications, and I'll see y'all on the next video.